Aim for the uh, the lamp on the left. Oh! Today we're gonna be learning some DLC shortcuts, 200 CC specifically, together because I don't even know how to do like half these shortcuts and there are a lot of tracks. We did the same video for these 48 and now we have 32 more making this video a little bit earlier than expected because there are so many shortcuts to learn. There's actually a couple things I want to point out on this one. The first one, everybody's aware of right now. But anyway, you can actually go up here and drift to the left and then cut out part of the grass and then use your mushrooms and do like a golden shortcut, which is really cool. You can combine shortcuts together and then, uh, ouch. Let's try that again. Let's not go off this Monty Bowl. And it is very important that you jump. So mushroom and jump for that one. If you do not jump, well, you saw what happened. So this next one I wanna show, even though it's fairly simple, you can cut off a very tight corner and you could trap it. If you have a mushroom and you have a banana or something like that, then you could lay a nasty trap spot because you already commit to the shortcut and there's no breathing room. There's only room for one lane here. So make sure that you trick off that ramp when doing DK Summit Double in this game. It really helps. And then I like to do a jump right before I'm going off the split section. But on 200cc, you actually don't even need to hit the split section at all. You can literally just skip it entirely by releasing a mini turbo in the air. However, you kind of land with not as much speed, so I like to play it safe and still go for it anyway, just like that. Everyone likes Yoshi's Island, I'm noticing, and you want to actually like aim for where the question mark block isn't. It moves so fast that if you're trying to pinpoint it, and you're just shooting directly for it, it'll move by the time you get there and the gliders are not extremely reactive like in Mario Kart 7. If it's up, shoot down, and if it's down, shoot up. Two really useful ninja hideaway shortcuts. First one is on 200 at the end, and this is exclusively for this CC, while this other one you could do on 150 as well. And that one, really nice, a little bit risky, gotta have the right alignment. And this next one is game changing if you can pull it off, but it's a little precise, and that is not how you do it. This video is a little bit different than what you guys are used to. You normally see a shortcut style video. You only have footage of me making the shortcuts. You're gonna have plenty of footage of me botching the shortcuts <laughs> today. <laughs> I mean, I'm never gonna show too many fails. I'll cut the other ones out. But anyway, I should probably explain how that shortcut worked because it's pretty difficult. You just have to main turbo boost into the wall first and then hit the side of the cardboard cutout. If you hit it uh, straight on, you always spin out. Sydney Sprint. We are hitting a little bit up. All right, Sydney Sprint. There's a little shroomless cut on this one. So after you do the off-road cut, it leads perfectly into this other shortcut and it just feels so natural. You're gonna wanna cut that tight, otherwise you gotta go around and you can end up cutting it extremely wide up the slope section. We don't want that. Ooh. This is the Troy Strat! Here we go, 3DS Rainbow Road. I cannot believe this is actually faster. It is pretty mind-blowing to me, because, uh, yeah, I tested the shortcut out, and it went about even, and that was right when it came out. It looks so cool. It doesn't save much time, but it is used in the world record now, and it wasn't for a long time on 200cc. You can use your mushroom super early, and you don't even need to jump. Oh, 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 let's try that again. Okay, mushroom early. Oh yeah, oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> you know what, after a few attempts here, I seriously think for this shortcut, you don't even need to drift or jump or anything, yeah. That was definitely the best of my three attempts. And all I did was just get the right angle and click mushroom. Mushroom Gorge, such a satisfying track to drive. But you gotta make sure that not only you know the gap jump, but you also know how to do these super bounce strategies on the mushroom section. And, you know, I'm not doing it, oh, 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 I'm not doing it world record level, but it is important you know how to get the bounce. So, let's start it out. Got it right there, and you gotta make sure you start your drift before the boost panel and release your main turbo right before you hit the mushroom pad. You will catapult, you can do it all over the track. It is busted, we're gonna do it again right here. Let's start drifting the other way. Oh, bounce! Oh my god, this is, this is just getting stupid. All right, that was a stupid lap. Let me just play one more lap of Mushroom Gorge. We're not showing the, the fence ride or the fence hop at all. There's a couple crazy strats. There, we got it perfect. But look at this, bounce, boing. 
gotta love it. I like to make sure I have my mushroom used like right about here where these little pebbles are and I like to go right over this one right here and I'm always aiming uh, to the right of the fence and then I learned based on what my Twitch stream told me that you're actually not supposed to hold any direction in the air, you just neutral jump. So that's important to get more air to clear the gap. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I mean, you just get so much air. You can clear it by miles and oh, oh that was crazy. And then uh, yeah, but if you do it just right, it looks really good. And the key is to make sure you're not holding left or right in the air, you get less distance that way. All right, sky high Sunday, shortcut. Oh, uh, okay, that was a little bit sketch, but the big thing with the shortcut is you're releasing your main turbo extremely early. I'll, I'll demonstrate one more time. Make sure you go off the orange scoop of ice cream, either one works, and use your uh, main turbo early. And ideally, you actually wanna land a little bit higher up where the trick ramp is on the first ice block that way you have more speed for the next section coconut mall there's this glider strat a lot of you probably know and what's so cool about it is even if you don't have motion gliding on it is so smooth i don't know how much faster it is most people aren't going to turn on motion gliding during a race but it's such a cool shortcut we obviously love this shortcut and what i like to do on this one is Did I really just get screwed over like that by the sign? That's never happened. <laughs> Sketch shortcut. But I don't even like to trick. I like to yank to the left and hold my drift. That way I can just use my main turbo upon landing. That works better for me. So one more time. Mushroom, yank, and then upon landing, release main turbo. And that was much better. I'd say it's really important to aim for the, uh, the lamp on the left. Oh, that was perfect! Wow. Guys, that shortcut right there is not... It's... Wow, I can't believe I got that first try. Wow, that actually works quite well. So, I mean, all these shortcuts I'm showing right now on GCN Waluigi Stadium... I don't know if any of these are faster. No, none of these actually are used in the world record. That is it for this video today. Thank you for watching and be sure to comment what your favorite shortcut is.